Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Wish Infinite. Just a quick heads up, my YouTube channel's name has changed to Wish Infinite, which was previously Test Code Automate. In this video, I am going to talk about that how to pass test data as fixtures. So let's start. When we pass test data as fixture, then it only supports one set of data. Hence, we cannot parameterize our test. So in my previous two videos of this particular series, we have talked about that how to read test data from the JSON and the CSV file. There, we were able to pass single and multiple set of data. And with multiple set of data, we were able to parameterize our test, right? We were able to execute a single test for each set of data. But here, we would not be able to do that. We would only be able to pass single set of data. If you have not watched those videos, I would recommend you to watch those videos. I will provide the link of these two videos into the description or you can click on to this i button at top right corner to access these videos. So now let's jump on to the practical part. So for this particular video, I'm going to use this orange HRM website. And let me explain you the scenario for which I've already created the test script. So here I would be logging in into the application first as part of before each of the test. And then once I am logged in, I would be going on to this recruitment module where I would be adding one candidate by clicking on to this add button. And then I would be providing first name, middle name, last name, and the email ID. And then I would be clicking on to the save. And let me show you the test script, which I've already created for the same scenario. So here into the VS code, inside this test folder, I've already created this test data from fixture.spec.ps file, where I've imported the test and the expect from this playwright test module. And then into the before each, I'm logging in into the application with the correct username and password. And then into the test, I'm clicking onto that add button and then giving the first name, last name, middle name, and the email ID, then clicking onto the save button. And once the candidate is saved, I'm validating this application stage heading is appearing onto the page or not. So here, if you will see, I have hard coded the data into the test script file only. See here, I'm entering the username, password, and then giving this first name, middle name, last name, and the email ID hard coded here. So about the fixtures, I've already talked into my previous videos of this particular series, where we learned that how to create the fixtures, how to use page object model with the fixtures, and how to use fixtures over the before and after hooks. So if you have not watched those videos, I would highly recommend you to watch those videos. I will provide the link of those videos into the description or you can click on to this i button at top right corner to access those videos. So now let's continue. So here first we would be creating one fixture file. So to create that file, I've already created that fixtures folder previously. So I would use the same folder here. You need to right click and then you need to click on to the new file here. You can give any name for now. I will give the name as test data fixture. dot ts so it would be the type script file you can hit enter so it will create a blank file so here i would be importing test from the playwright test module so i need to write this import then inside the curly braces we need to mention the test from playwright test module right and here i would be using the alias so i would be using this test as base test and now i am going to extend our base test with the fixtures so we need to use this base test dot extend we need to use so this is the method okay and its type is generic here i would be defining a type and then we need to put this parenthesis and here as i need to provide the type so separately i can create a type so here i need to write the type okay this is my fixture i can write any name i can give equals to and then the curly braces here we would be defining the type of our fixtures. So let's create one fixture as the login data. And its type I would be putting as any. And then the semicolon. And after this, I would be creating one more fixture. So let's keep the name as test data colon. And its type would be any only. And here inside this angular braces, I can provide this particular type. And now inside this parenthesis, I need to put these curly braces where we would be providing the fixture and its value. And now here, let's first give the value of this login data. So here you need to put this login data, then colon, 
and then we need to put the curly braces. So previously when we talked about the fixtures, so we provided this anonymous function here where we were providing the before part, after part and the use method. But here we are not going to provide that anonymous function. We are directly going to write this curly braces, right? The object we are going to provide here and inside this we are going to provide the different values, right? Which we are going to use into our test. So first I need to provide this username and password, right? For our login functionality. So here let's provide the give name or username, any name you can write. Okay. So this is the key. And then after colon, we need to put its value and its value we can copy directly from our test. So admin is the value, right? For our username. And now let's put the password. So here I'm putting the PWD colon and the password is admin 123. So we can copy the same. And here after the colon, I can provide that particular value inside the double quotes. So this is our login data. And now let's provide the value of this test data, which we would be passing inside this particular test. So here, once we provide the value of this login data fixture, we can put the comma and then we are going to give this fixture, which is test data. And here it is having the value, which is having the object, right? And inside this, we would be providing the key and value pair for our data. So here we need to provide the first name, middle name, last name and the email ID, right? So let's copy this data from here. So here we need to give the first name, colon, and then inside the double quotes, we can provide the first name, then put the comma. And in the similar pattern, we are going to provide the middle name, last name, and the email ID. So let me copy it quickly from here. So the middle name is D. So here I can provide the M name. Okay, any name you can write for these keys, right? Any meaningful name should be there. And now let me copy this last name, put the comma and I'll name I'm taking as the key, colon. And then inside the double quotes, we need to put the value. And then let's put the email here, colon. And email would be sam at the rate gmail.com. Right. So this is our test data. Press Control Shift F to format this particular code. So here what we have done, we have created two fixtures, right? One is this login data and second one is test data. So this login data we would be using for our before each part and this test data we would be using for our this test, right? Which is add candidate for recruitment. So it's up to you that how you want to manage your data. For each test, let's say if you are having some good number of data, right? So for each test, you can create one fixture and for that particular fixture, you can provide the values which you are going to use inside your test. And there may be one more case where you are having very large data for your complete test grade file. So in that case, you can just create single fixture and inside that you can provide the different values which you can use for your whole test grade file. So it's up to you and the requirement in your project that how you want to manage your data. So now our data is ready. Now we need to use the same data into our test script file. So to use this test data into our test script file, first we need to export this base test, right? So here we need to give this export const test equals to this base test, which we have extended with our fixture, right? And now into our test script file, first what we need to do, we need to import the test from the fixture. So previously we have imported our test and the expect from this playwright test module, but now we need to import the test from this fixture file, right? So here what I will do, let me import it into the second line. So here what I can do, import test from and from the fixture file I need to import. So double dot, so it will go to the parent folder here. I have kept the file into this fixtures folder. So give that folder name forward slash and the file name, right? So for us, it would be the test data fixture, right? Where we have kept our fixtures. And let me remove this test from here. We can also import the expect from the fixture file, but in that case, we will have to export it from here. So what we can do here, I can give this export expect from 
playwright test right and here i can import it from this fixture file only so it's up to you right how you want to do it you can directly import it from the playwright test module also but if you want to import it from the fixture file that also we can do let me remove this and here i will import it from the fixture file so here yeah, you can give the expect now and now to use this test data we need to provide the different fixtures which we have created so for the login part i have created the fixture the name is login data right so i can copy the same name and here after the page fixture i can put the comma and then i can provide the fixture name which is login data okay and by this login data i would be able to access this particular object right where i can access the each value by using its key so here what i can do on place of this admin i need to write this login data then i can put the dot and here i need to provide the username right so this is the u name which is the key which i have given right and here i need to provide the password so here i can give the fixture name dot the pwd is the key name right where i have provided the password so that you need to give and similarly for the test i have created this test data as the fixture so i can provide that fixture name so here i can put the comma and then can give this fixture name and by using this fixture i would be able to access this object where i have provided the first name last name middle name and the email id with their keys right so i can use these keys to access this particular data right so now let's remove this hard coded value and here i would be using the fixture name right test data is the fixture name dot and then we are going to provide the first name right f name is the key similarly we need to provide the middle name so put the fixture name dot m name then for the last name fixture name dot l name and similarly here we need to put the fixture name and then the email so now with this way we would be able to access our data and we would be able to execute our test script from this particular data right so here we were able to pass the test data as the fixture and into our test script file we are able to use this test data so now let me run the test script file so here into the terminal i can give the command which is npx playwright test so it will run all the tests which are there into our test folder for now i have just kept one test script file which is test data from the fixture.spec.ts right so it will run this particular test script file where it will first run the before each part and then it will run this test you can create the multiple test as per your requirement and accordingly you can create the fixture and keep data for each fixture and then can use it for each test right here let me hit the enter so it will start the execution so now execution is started it logged in into the application it went on to this recruitment tab and then it entered all the data and once it will get saved we would be able to see this application stage heading right so see our test got passed and if you want to see this html report you can give this command which is npx playwright show hyphen report so this is the html report which got generated where we can see all the steps which are there for the specific test so that's it for this particular video let me give you the quick recap so here we have created one test okay and then i have created one more fixture file which is test data fixture.ts and inside this test data fixture.ts file i have imported the test as the base test from the playwright test module here we have given the type of the different fixtures which we are going to use for the data fixture we have given the type as any and then we need to extend our base test with the fixtures right here inside the angular basis we have provided the type and then inside the parenthesis we need to provide the curly braces where we would be providing the different fixture name colon and then the object and inside the object we would be passing different set of data right so for the each test we can create a different fixture right and then we can provide the data which we are going to use for that particular test or inside the single fixture only we can provide the multiple set of data right 
and then into our test script file we need to import the test from our fixture file and then for the specific test inside this anonymous function we need to provide that fixture name which we are going to use right here we have provided the page fixture and the login data fixture and then you need to use this fixture name dot the key name which you have provided here to access the specific data right into the test also we have done the same we have used this test data fixture and then we have used this fixture name test data dot that key name for the value which we want to access right here we have used the first name middle name last name and the email id so that's it from my end you can click on to this first card to go to the next video you can click on to the second card to access the whole playwright tutorial playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions or doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day